Alright, we can kill that. Once we have the point, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm, okay. They didn't even wait for the end of the conversation. They just threw it in. There you go. Uh, yes, that it does indeed float my boat. Self-respect is not meant to float any boats but your own. I'll keep that in mind for future use. She turns to check her tape recorder. How does it work? The mic? I don't exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. The book said it only picks up structure-born sound, if you like technobabble. Oh, that's definitely going to help us somewhere down the line, but I don't know where and how. Where'd you get the mic from? The same place I got the recorder from, the Palisium. What's that? Probably a hangout for junior delinquents. Back to the mic, if you will. Oh, man. You haven't been to the Palisium? It's the coolest place in this whole drug-addled shithole. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there, like real musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Who's this Arno guy? Sounds like a place for congre congregating homosexuals. Well then. Even with the thought! Even with the thought. <laughs> Even with the thought. Unless it's like, hey. Sounds like a place for, uh, <laughs> you know. All right. Oh yeah. They don't tell you the tone of the lines. Or really be a Palisium going kind of person. Oh, I get down. On second thought, let's go back to the contact mic. I don't know what that means. I grind. I don't know what that means either. It means I'm hip beyond my years. No do I, nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I rock in the form of a wrecked tape player and a completely trashed hotel room. Neither do I, actually. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Get down? Grind? <laughs> That's cool. She breathes on her fingers. Looks like she doesn't know what to say. Yeah, right, you're right. Time has deserted me. Never mind. It sucks, man. Was there something else? About the contact mic, perhaps? Damn. Other questions? Okay. Mm, tell me more about this music place you've been planning in the church. It's supposed to become, like, a club. For anodic dance music. Like that new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Palisium. Except that... Yeah. She looks at the old wooden church up on the poles as a mean wind comes bellowing in the six-story structure lets out a doleful shriek the floorboards are twisting and the shooting beams are slowly cracking like bones far east of the golden delta beyond the industrial port there is a black patch of unlit coast with the smallest creatures on the ice an abandoned church is like high hipster real estate oh, platinum yeah. <laughs> it, it, you, you, you it get that doesn't get any better yeah you know the aesthetic of of, of a, an old sacred place but now being used for fucking ragers <laughs> <laughs> and raves it's crazy there will never be a club for anodic music here there goes the neighborhood not in a million years so, what is anodic dance music? You want to turn the church into a club? Did you put the padlock on the church door? Enough about the church, then. You know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. Oh. 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 Okay, I see. That's weird. Electronic S instruments, like what? So this world has ADM? <laughs> Synthesizers and tape consoles. Microcomputers, too. Anything that uses electricity, but isn't guitars. Also found sounds, stuff like that. Samples. You see clear, beautiful, violent flashes of light. Light cutting through a smoke-filled darkness. That is what the future will look like, if it ever comes. Hmm. Okay. I thought the future would just be like Reggie Watts and people who... and... and, and 
Mark Rebele or whatever. People who just like do five second samples of their voice and then just loop it back immediately. And then just do instant like right improv right. mixes and then destroy the sound forever. I want to turn the church into a club. I know. It's not my idea. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but now they can't even take it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you two are cops. No, we're the police. Yes, why do you ask? I don't know where you got that idea. <laughs> okay, well... Maybe you could talk to Andre and the guys. Because there are some strange things going on in that church. If you're police, you should look into it, right? Well, my first impression is they're forcing you out in the cold so that their shit can stay warm. So, you know, not great. Bad first impression, haven't even met them. I'll talk to him. We'll see. I prefer to remain non-committal. Got an F on my plate as it is. If it's what you want. They're inside that thing there. Would be cool if you did. Was there something else? Did you put the padlock on the church door? No. No? Not really, no. She's trying to get out of a direct lie with semantic tricks. She personally didn't put the padlock on the door. Mm, okay, if you personally <sighs> didn't, then who did? Let me show the sticker. So this isn't yours? It's Noid's. Wait, is this Noid's? This is Noid, a friend of yours? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Why did this Noid person put a padlock on the church door? To keep more weirdos from getting in. Fucking Martinez. I'm sorry. It's got the worst weirdos. If you get around to it, ask Andre about them. He'll tell ya. Okay. Well, enough about the church then. I had another question. It's enough about the Noid. Go ahead. You seem surprisingly comfortable with being questioned. Why is that? Well, it's just questioning, right? You're just questioning me. It's what cops do. Have you been questioned before? We do, don't we? Mind if I question you some more? <laughs> Once or twice, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't had the Revachol experience they get east of the river. Mm, what's east of the river? So what kind of trouble have you got into with the police? Rich people. Rich people are east of the river. Hmm. Who are these rich people? They sound wonderful. I'd like to be one too. I bet they're really rich. They must be special people to be so rich. Let me guess. These rich people are not from around here. Strange. The existence of rich people does not stir any emotions in me. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> sure. Aren't they? I thought they were as vachelair as any of us. Just way richer. Oh, oh, oh no, they're foreign bodies. Oh, I didn't even understand what was ha- That's where you went. I literally, I didn't, I didn't, I literally <laughs> didn't even understand the, the framing of that one. Well, you know, that's, that's on point. Most hey. people don't know that they're doing or saying nope. Nope. things that's that fair. are problematic or wrong. That's fair. You know? That's fair. So every once in a while, you just got to oops, fash. <laughs> oops, fash. It, it happens. It happens. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, you know? no. They're foreign bodies. Agent of international capital. You only need to look close enough. Where? Fascism at six. <laughs> Kim, Kim, Kim's fine. Kim will be fine. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of them do speak three languages. Oh, just... Boy. Yeah. Mm, why they can't... Can't they just speak one, right? Alright, let's try Rich that again. People. <laughs> Rich people are east of the river. Alright. This is the money one, then. Good luck crossing that river on your police salary, then. There you go. Damn. Free buck. <laughs> <laughs> What's the trouble you've gotten into? The usual. I had a shitty run as a teenager. <laughs> Did it for the money. <laughs> I mean, look, you're like, ooh. The foreign rich. How nice, they're rich. <laughs> like, you just cash in, cash out. Do I get any money for go for picking a communist route? Answer on that one? I don't think so. Oh, I would have to share it. Well, God. <laughs> out of there. 
<laughs> What's the use? You know, drinking, getting into fights. The ugly stuff that happens when you move out your parents' place at 13. In Fulberg. Fulberg. Interesting term. Time to glean some knowledge. Wait, what is in Faubourg? Is this a rhetorical question? No, I literally can't remember even the most basic terms sometimes. <clears throat> Faubourg, not in Faubourg, is a massive banlieue south of Gemrock Quarter. It is the largest ghetto in Revachon, possibly the world. Mm, I know what Jamrock is, but let's say I didn't. It's like train the banlieue? Yeah. Uh, why'd you have to move out when you were so young? Yeah, let's keep it going. We are Jamrock, sort of. Martinez is called North Jamrock sometimes. Jamrock is also a ghetto, only smaller than Faubourg. Jamrock is a district of Revachon comprised of the following quarters. Ox, Villa Lobos, Central Jamrock, Grand Couron, Old South, and the Valley of the Dogs. Learning is great. It can't be coincidence that they chose a nickname for Jamaica. Like that has to be like a a, a, a deliberate pull mm -hmm. in their like international terminology yeah. that they've been mixing and matching throughout the throughout the game. I could see it. Yes, and any for any who uh, might have missed it earlier. In, in way earlier in, in the LP, we were talking about how, yeah, Jamrock is literally uh, uh, a nickname for Jamaica. Precisely. And why did you have to move out when you were so young? My dad was a drunk. Plus, I guess I just wanted to drink too, you know, get my party on. I get that. I'm a major party animal myself. Major. major. We major. Drinking, partying, and disco music are bad for you. You should take me as a warning example. Mm. Yeah. All right. She smiles a little without meaning to. Hmm. Plus one, give her a hat. Plus two, more like contact Mike now. <laughs> Plus one, I could say usual red dye. Okay. 20 sided dye. Oh, sure. The cop dice. But we still have, like, zero empathy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Bye. <coughs> she turns her attention back to the recording device. What else you got? That's not an empathy hat. At all. Are those the only two hats? Oh no. Oh no. Oh damn it. I should have been wearing this when I spoke to her. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh well that sucks. Can you ask for your hat back? <laughs> Wait, I got something better for you. <laughs> to how badly do we want some logic, you know? Yeah. Well, that's rough. Anyway, um, no, we literally don't have any other hats. So that stat can either be, um, uh, uh, this, this slot can either be empty or we can fucking, uh, hey man, we're just, just, uh, we're just doing Chris, Chris Lambert. Yeah. Okay. It's just Chris Lambert. Okay. Sure. What was our suggestion at? Suggestion three. Versus suggestion minus one from the logic. Ah, uh, five. Yeah, we're good. Um, we can we can chill. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're trying to find ourselves some um empathy, right? Yeah, you want to relate to her. Mm -hmm. So I believe it was these. They go on, visual calculus comes off. And what else? Was that it? Might have been it. This is 
Lots of items. Yeah, there. I, I, I wish it was a witch's sword. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. I was. We were just thinking the exact yeah. same thing. Like, okay, now that we have this many clothing items to go through, and we're constantly switching them, a quick sort by by what stats they they affect would mm. be wonderful here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then the shirt we're wearing is giving us uh, logic. So empathy is being. Reduced by the white polo. Uh, how's your shirt? Shirt's dropping empathy by one. Uh huh. <laughs> this is God, no authority whatsoever. <laughs> Just stay shirtless. Let's go! Yes! Show that hair! Alright. Are the pants helping? Are they not? Because <laughs> I just want you to undress. Because pa pants as are much as possible. passively, Reggie. Pants are always helping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All benefits. Alright, alright. Hello again. So All right. Too. The device is still warm from her touch and heavy as a brick. Did we just? Inside. Hell yeah! The company logo, Omicron, adorns its yellow plastic cover. Inside, the tape is rolling. The girl looks at the device in your hands. Fucking natural twenty. This says critical success. I like seeing that. Huh. <sighs> Don't talk about Omicron. Sorry you have to sit here on the ice feeling miserable at your age, or any age in this weather, waiting for it to get dark. Yeah, go for it. She looks you in the eye, her pupils wide, surrounded by a ridiculous amount of makeup. The people who built this world intended it to be better for you, but they failed. It's easier to live in their failure with this by your side. Tap on the tape recorder. The wind howls. She remains silent. That's a fucking good line. It's real. Tell her. It's not a childish fantasy. It can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now. What is? Her shoulders shake a little. <coughs> the dark. Nothing. If you got this, don't be scared. I'm once again reminded of how Contact Mike rose from the slums of St. Baptiste to the top of the boxing world, overcoming adversity after uh, and serious brain trauma. Nothing is coming. Nothing he wouldn't knock out in three rounds. The real fight is for the right attitude. Let's, let's keep it strong. Nothing if you got this. Don't be scared. Okay. I'll stick to it. Her teeth rattle. She takes the device from you and places it in her lap. Something changes between you two. She looks at you differently now. As an equal. A fellow human being. Yeah! Good job, Empathy. So thanks, I guess, for the psych session. Maybe I can return it. What's been eating you, officer? There you go. Just a nice little roll to make her feel a little better. And we're done. I can live with this. What a great exchange. Now let's put some goddamn clothes on. <laughs> We're getting nippy. Wait, not that uh, one. Polo? Marco? Wait, that's just rhetoric up. That's logic. That's instrument. And that's instrument and shivers for authority. Why not just put the instrument up? Yeah, for balance, to not affect authority too much? Yeah, I mean, we're not lacking on... Um, oh, we're good for a physical instrument. Yeah, is. yeah, 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 we're okay. We're okay. And shivers is still high, so we're just getting a little greedy for that authority trade-off. Mm. Alright. And now, let's go into that, uh... 
Oh, 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 First, we yeah. look around. Get these uh, 30 centimes. And the drawbridge for our shortcut port. Yes. Trash from some unending party. Pull screwed into the ice, keeps the tent erect. More tribalistic mark markings. This post is covered in little humanoids. Can we interface with this or something? Tonight has been planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up. You now no longer have to go into the poison swamp. Barely holding it up. It could fall over any minute. A stronger gust of wind might be enough. What is What's this? It looks like a makeshift bridge. Could be convenient. Hmm. Push it the over. The falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. Yeah. Good job. Straight to the boss. Someone's house away from home, away from home, just like yours. All right. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men, all in forward-looking apparel, reminiscent of the sticker on the padlock, are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Uh, squeeze in? Sorry, we barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. <laughs> I just dislike delinquents. Fine. Fair enough. I'm sure you will feel right at home. Oh. I'll keep watch. He gestures for you to squeeze in. Oh boy. Oi! Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> hey! How? Let's go! Wow. <laughs> Smells like sweat and laundry detergent plus a trace of ether. Canister is filled with what appears to be water. The label says distilled. Pile of nasal sprays. Brand name, Nosafed Ultra. Ultra! Don't mind Ultra. if I do. Want to see where's the child I used to be. Speaker, the big kind they use for live music. Let's start with you. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. I ain't shaking your hand, friend. Oh, wow. This is my posse, Noid. He pauses with his hand still hanging in the air. Why are you being antagonistic? Like, not... Because they kicked the girl out in the cold for their stuff. That's fair. That's fair. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. I guess if kids' lives were more important than material, then this is how it's gonna be. Uh, an egghead. Egg! Not to mention the last hand we shook had shit on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tell not me, touching anyone. Tell me when again. handshake prompts are not a trap <laughs> from now on. Brofist? Brofist, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> tape player high above his head continues to blast what is probably a Nordic music. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Mm, wait, how many music venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Artists are for talent. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. You think? Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noit's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I I he has authority issues. Oh, there's no need. The place is pretty bad. Next time, watch yourself. Was there something you wanted? Your friend Asili said there was a problem with the church. Ah, oh, so you've met her. Good, good. Yeah, it's a matter of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. An attempt to pander to your 
perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Still in the clutch. Enough histrionics. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Uh huh. Dopeheads! Burnouts! He angrily well, spits. I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamlock. Nah, strike that in Revershaw. Okay. But is the beat about to drop? <laughs> no. <laughs> strike that! The world! Wasn't there a was it was it I think was it a Key and Peel sketch, I think? Where it's just like the beat never drops. And it just it just keeps going up and up and up and oh, up. Oh, that's uh, Andy Samberg. One way the bass drop. One way the bass drop. One way the bass drop. Yeah, that's Andy Samberg from Lonely Island. Get turned off the death. That's exploding shit. Strike that, the world. And sadly yet, because the dopeheads and burnouts hold up, you know, with the worst kind. He leans back a little. Watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope beds and burnouts really are. My heavens to mercy. Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. Mm. Are they foreigners? <laughs> I bet they're foreigners. Yeah. The game should just like there should be a little noise to be like, all right, you know the four. There they are. <laughs> Three this time. So you can't even go full morals, even if you wanted to. Well, let's see. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Shake your head gravely. Oh, that is the moralist answer. Okay. I feel like you may be laying this on a bit thick. What's so bad about these dope heads and burnouts? Mm -hmm. They're spooky. What exactly do you mean by spooky? Spookiness is not a matter for police investigation. You know, officer, you really should judge that for yourself. But keep in mind, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Naturally. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Bad signs. What is happening behind your head? Life world? Light? Broken eggshells? Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Mm, I'll look into it. Tell me more. I'll make up my mind later. I have questions for you first. The police have more important things to do right now, kid. Questions first. Wait, hold on. Get the task. Not now. Not now. Yeah. All right, man. He claps his hands enthusiastically. Assal told me Noid put the padlock on the door. Why? Who exactly are these people inside the church? You mentioned some kind of Ecclesiastes on the church. Who are these Ecclesiastes? I wanted to ask you about this tent full of equipment. I did ask Noid to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. Oh. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. I need the key. How long have those people been locked in there? Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. Only if he promises to look into the spookers in the church. He looks at you gravely. Officer, I apologize. Noid doesn't always understand the joy of giving for the sake of giving. <laughs> I think it may have something to do with his childhood. <laughs> this like this full forced authoritative polite angle on a on a fucking street urchin here is pretty funny. Actually, that's not even the least descriptive with the spikes in them. Okay, just give me the key. Yeah. Uh you can't coerce me into taking this on. I don't need the key. No, give me the key. Fine, fine. I like that they actually have that set up in case you said no as well. Mm. Brilliant! Noid, the key! Claps his hand. The air in the tent feels lighter. Alright. 
The speed freak, freak dip, dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. He then makes a sudden, cool infused move, tossing it into your general direction. Reaction speed. Learn from the dice. Be the cool cop. Catch the key as it flies towards you. Let it fall to the ground or and pick it up like a normal adult person. Never again. Never again. It's as if time has frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in here? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be way cool. Don't, Don't ruin the cool by overdoing it. Raise your hand in front of your face with minimum effort. Blam! Straight in the eye. Straight in the old eye or in the looking ball. Beautiful. A stabbing pain. Trying <laughs> stream uncontrollably from your right eye. Ouch! Goddamn asshole! What is wrong with you? Can't you see that I'm in pain now? Man, I'm super sorry. That was totally my bad. I got overexcited. I threw him too hard. I'm gonna I'm need sorry. all of your nose fed. He looks like he's the ultra. Sorry, he didn't throw them better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ben, you're facing mockery of his useless contrition. You almost I murdered me, a cop. That's use of lethal force. I really am sorry, man. Just take this, okay? He pulls out some black paper from his belt back. Well, looks like there's quite a lot there. That's the least you could do. I don't need your pity money. Now, where were we? I hope that settles it. Or wait. Damn, 25 bucks. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh you shit! Friends with, you friends with Joyce or uh... what? Holy shit! Maybe they, maybe they are accomplished <laughs> musicians. Yo, maybe they do have a maybe, couple of gigs lined up. Maybe you should have shook shook his hand. Huh? Maybe. The key. Cautiously hands you the yellow key ring. I'll take another damage point for another twenty five bucks, <laughs> even though I literally can't afford it. <laughs> he is shifting in his spot uncomfortably still feeling sorry for the mishap good we were talking about the padlock i think yeah how long have those people been locked in there not long like a week maybe he shrugs how can you be sure they haven't starved to death this is cool taking initiative like this is proper citizen behavior and i endorse it i'm super sure they're alive i mean come on i'm at least 90 percent, maybe 85 percent sure they're still alive why somewhere in the ruinous past that led you here there was something called exams you may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there yeah why is it not a hundred percent andre do you know what involuntary manslaughter means 85 percent is not good enough when you're dealing with another person's physical well-being 85 percent is good enough no one lives forever baby Stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. What does that even mean? I don't know. What does anything mean, really? Oh, yeah. He looks at his friend with an expression of profound understanding. Sounds like nonsense. You're right. It is nonsense. Total garbage. I knew you'd see through it. You're one smart cop. <laughs> wow. It feels good to be the smart cop, doesn't it? That's a good cop to be. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. Smart cop. You wouldn't want to be stupid cop, now would you? But still, maybe he's just sucking up to you. Yeah, that butter is delicious. This is the stat that I can trust, and the only one I can trust, Whoa. and here he is. <sighs> Stop buttering me up now, thank you. I get by. Now where was I with that padlock? Oh, okay. I won't do that anymore. Right. Other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Who exactly are they? Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't even seen them? Or you want the police? And you want the police involved? Better be safe than sorry. Anything more that you can tell me? Well, there's also the machinery. 
He leans in. This machinery is of the deeply mystical variety. Mystical? When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. Okay. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are. <laughs> felt like silence. Awful silence. Yeah, but you haven't physically seen anyone. Yeah, no, that's just the, this is this is ascension happening right here. <laughs> that's what that is. Um, not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple of times, and we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. Hmm, what was that about something watching you? Can you tell me more about the machinery? So how can you be sure they're burnouts and dope heads if you haven't even seen them? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. This is a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. <laughs> wow, you can't, but you do. I should, add, I should add weaponized idiocy to my own repertoire. I don't see a single thing wrong with that argument. Hey now, I'm 70% sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that technology fool you. Where do you think the drugs come from? <sighs> what was uh, watching you? Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human, as in a ghost. Do you know what he means? It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? Yeah, you know. The way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Oh my god. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. Are you sure there was a crab man? Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time. But I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it. But be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. And the machinery, then. You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station, too. Probably very likely. All right. Sure. What? The Ecclesiastes. Who are they? Them. Oh, yeah. That's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Before we go on, what do you mean by meteorin? Oh, the founding party. I do know them, but can you refresh my memory? Now humor me, Andre. What is the founding party? Don't mask it. I don't even know what the founding party is. Alright, let's go with that. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know? I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Pericanesian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, no? Now, Andre, in your opinion, with this ancient religious organization who an anoints the innocents want a club for anodic music in one of their churches? They sound like exactly the kind who would want loud anodic music in their church. Totally. There isn't a trace of doubt in his voice. <clears throat> Church is about love. And Nordic music is about love. I got love for my Pericanassian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore. Oh. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my insulin Indian posse. What's oh, going off? He turns Unity. up, then looks at you with a nod, knowing nod. It's as if it's obvious you will break into vents. Wow. Look at that. Just uniting the world with the power of music. You know? That's pretty good. 
on a rooftop going, this next track goes out to George Floyd and all his people. I have a dream. I, 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 I have a dream. I, 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 I have a... <sighs> all right, then. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. How are we gonna do this? No words, enjoy the beat. Nod your head. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What's a posse? I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I now understand it was a it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Synodic music is about love, and so is the Perikonassian Church. No, this is too much. No sane organization will want this level of absurdity in their church. <sighs> Let's see how this fucking kills us. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> okay. Your posse's like your people, man. Like you got your cup posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. Oh, right. And where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. Of course, Esprit de Corps would come out and say something. Of course it would. <laughs> Sounds like you're just saying random things. Love posse, make noise. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Are we? Looks at you mysteriously. Yeah! The one with the large head really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. <laughs> I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise, or this is too much. No sane organization would want this level of absurdity in their church. That's pretty downbeat. I think I speak for all of us when I say we expected the law to be more open to the idea of love, unity, and the Periconassian posse. That's just the way it is. I don't understand a single thing you're saying. I'm sorry the law doesn't share your vision. So, you got more questions? Mm. The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to stop. He's like, dance! His expectation is fierce. Dance! Just... Mm. Oh yeah, that's a... If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor. You know, of Meteo. 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 Meteo, a country on Muindi, on the Muindi Isola. He looks at you, squinting his eyes to see if you're kidding. One of the poorest of the first world nations today, but once a great ancient civilization. Capital, Tilakos by Pacentic. Hmm. Oh, the founding party. I do know them, but can you refresh my memory? Alright, so we go back down Come this road. It, and they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Periconassian Church. You're right, they do. The Periconassian Church is about love. Woo. And Nordic music is a love is hard. Hardcore. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my insulin Indian. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base. As if testing the waters. Yeah! Oh! Yako Qatar! The place to be! He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Pericarnassianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand. Approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, what? nodding his head. What was the end result start moving? of either of those? Like, it... like, what? Just dance. Yeah. <laughs> Just dance. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Just About this equipment. Through you. Yes. What? Uh, I see you brought your own water. I hate to tell you, but this reeks of sweat in here. What's with all the Nosafed? The what now? The bottles of Nosafed Ultra. You have a lot lying around. Uh -huh. Oh, the old Ultra. We, um... He's like an 
Tom, looking to the Sufala for his line. I have a major sinus infection, stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, just a little stretch. Yeah. 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 No, the uh, the Those EDM bed won't help you. The EDM woolly days were a long time ago, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> they were, but they were there. But they were there. Yeah, you had like colors and nice bright suits. Or me and Steph's first date was at a concert. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a, a local indie stuff or was it like a something popular? No. Uh. uh, uh... Uh, uh, basically a DJ crew came to um, came to Montreal and they put on a big old drum and bass and dubstep show oh wow and shit was shit was pretty dope it was a nice night way back when it was a very nice night That's yeah cool. good times so he has a sinus infection he says he sound fine to me oh okay I guess that makes sense tell me about another thing yes all nose effects doing without the noser i'd be drowning in shit right now of course no effect is the shit mm -hmm. can i have some i have some nose problems too um sure here you go officer oh thank the you noser. blast away nice all right Let's see you brought your own water always important uh yeah <laughs> to have bitch to carry when i first scattered the place i did some reconnaissance i'm not sure the church even is running water and it's distilled too uh, oh he doesn't know what to say it's the one they sell at the fuel station it's like he's lying to you my liege but he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of smells of sweat it does doesn't it told you we have a smell problem he picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it Wait, I also smell ether. Why? It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent, like laundry detergent. Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? No. He sniffs the air, then shrugs. A shrug is good enough for us. Why say it when you can shrug it? Mm -hmm. He nods enthusiastically, no doubt a little relieved. Logic godly. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to analyze uh, the European spelling. 17% logic 3. Unexplained ether smell. Unexplained nose of fed. Headphones were sold. Mm hmm. Uh. Alright. Let's see if we can't. Uh, crank that up a little bit as always we'll be right here waiting patiently for the news yeah yeah all right what can we all right on? crack that mm. soldier boy logic minus one from items currently okay so what's doing it 